Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Now this video is going to be super productive, very important. You know the number one important book in entire MBBS. You know, we have 19 different subjects, but if you ask me what is the most important book, it is Robin's Pathology. The reason being that it is the foundation of your clinical understanding. Ab jitne bhi patients treat karoge aage chal ke life mein, आप जितने भी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस देखोगे उनका जो फाउंडेशन है द पैथोफिजियोलॉजी द पैथोलॉजी इट इज टॉट बाय रॉबिन्स यू मे बी अ सर्जन इन फ्यूचर यू मे बी अ फिजिशियन इन फ्यूचर यू मे बी अ कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट लाइक मी इन फ्यूचर बट दिस बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द जनरल डिजीज प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट इज व्हाई आई ऑलवेज से दिस इज अ मस्ट रीड बुक and this is this will help you not only to qualify your second prop you're not reading it to qualify your second prop no you can read anything even notes or whatever you can qualify second prop in respect to what you do you can even crack neat pg i n i c t even without reading robins you can do that but i tell you to read this book one because it's a wonderful book to read second this is going to help you throughout your career you know what differentiates an ordinary doctor from an excellent doctor it is the understanding of the disease process see i i know if this is the disease this is the treatment you can root memorize that process but to understand what is going wrong in that patient and then to treat that pathology the pathophysiology that's a different happiness that you will get and you will realize that only after reading this book now if you look at this book it's a quite a big book it has got so many chapters 9 29 different chapters in this in this uh, robins edition okay so what i'll do you know i want you to understand that first 6 months of your second prof you know you should read the first 7 chapters of this book I understand that you have finished your first prop MBBS exam. You want to roam around. You don't want to read at all. But trust me, it will help you a lot if you cover these seven chapters in your first six months of second prop. Why? Because afterwards you'll be posted in different clinical postings. You'll be posted in general surgery. You'll be posted in general medicine wards or pediatric wards. There you'll find someone with a tumor. There you'll find someone with a colon cancer. and you will read it from neoplasia chapter there you will find someone with sle you will understand the pathophysiology of the disease from the disease of immune system you'll find some syndromic child in your pediatric ward you will read the, the pathophysiology from genetic disorder chapter you will see different patients in septic shock and all you will read all that process from the chapter on hemodynamic disorders you will see patients of thrombosis right and left somebody with a heart attack somebody with deep vein thrombosis you will read that thing from hemodynamic disorders okay or you see inflammation as a part of all different diseases you'll understand inflammation process from this from 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 chapter number 3 and you will understand cell injury from chapter number 2 which is fundamental to all the disease processes okay so these seven chapters if you cover in first 6 months and possibly read them twice understand them read them line by line you will get a next level understanding of any disease process that you will encounter in your second prop third prop final prop as an intern as a medicine resident or whatever residency you'll be doing as a super specialist practicing doctor these seven chapters are most important which is why i want you to spend your time read these chapters line by line remember these flow diagrams these pictures one by one why not for your second prop not even for i n i c t even though such flow charts and such pictures uh, you know you can uh, the, the picture on the right this can be an exact question on i n i c t exact ditto uh, photographs are taken from the robins and they're put on the exam by aims faculty and you're asked to know that this is an example of liquefactor necrosis for example or this is an example of coagulative necrosis or this is somebody with tuberculosis of lung with caseous necrosis so one is that you get a deep understanding of the different different questions second similar things will be asked by a good examiner like the one in i n i c t or aims pg right and third thing that wherever you go even if i treat someone with tuberculosis today trust me this figure comes to my mind this lesion in that lung that caseous necrosis this is so important whatever you're doing you got to know that tb lesion has caseous necrosis right okay 
Then, embedded in these first seven chapters, you'll see so many of these pathways. For example, this is, um, this is the different mechanisms of apoptosis. You've got intrinsic pathway, extrinsic pathway. I know this can be read from simpler sources. I know this can be read from any Indian textbook or for that matter, coaching note. But trust me, if you read these seven chapters line by line, if you remember these figures from all these chapters, you know, if you have a photographic memory for these for these pictures, trust me, you will not regret any time later in your MBBS career or as a doctor, because this is foundation of medicine. OK, right. And, and third thing I want to mention is that there will be some difficult chapters. For example, neoplasia chapter is difficult. You will see some of these tables, so many growth factors, so many oncogenes and so forth. But this sort of a chapter requires multiple revisions. No shortcut. Nahi hai. INICT ka topper koi superhero nahi hai. He is just an ordinary student like you, but he has done multiple revisions of difficult things. Jo cheez aapko difficult lagti hai, wo sabko difficult lagti hai. Wo mujhe bhi difficult lagti hai, wo kisi aur topper ko bhi difficult lagti hai, aapko bhi lagti hai. The point is, I will read it 10 times, the other topper will read it 10 times, but you will give up after reading it once or twice. Or ye wo chapter say that you may seek help of online videos. You may want to listen to audio lectures by Dr. Golian. You may want to see your coaching videos just to make you able to read this chapter and understand this chapter line by line. Remember, in your second prop, your target is not NEET PG. In your second prop, your target is not INICT or USMLE, nothing. Your target is a deep understanding of a disease process. Trust me, no topper, no INICT topper targets to top that INICT from second prop. No. Do not read for these entrance exams in your second year MBBS, but read for thorough understanding of the topics. Okay? And several chapters you can skip, for example. I highlight infectious diseases, disease of infancy and childhood, or environmental nutritional diseases. See why? Infectious diseases you will learn in detail in your microbiology. Infancy and childhood diseases you will learn in detail in your pediatrics. Environmental nutritional disorders you will learn in detail in social and preventive medicine. You may read these chapters. You can just quickly read these chapters or you may even read your coaching notes from for these uh, for these few chapters, right? Now, once you go beyond these seven chapters, once you go to organ systems, the first rule is know the most important diseases first. In your second prof, each chapter has so many diseases. Like for example, the chapter on the heart, it, has, it starts with anatomy, the histopathology of, of, the, of the heart and the vessels. And then it touches on heart failure, then congenital diseases, ischemic heart diseases, arrhythmias and so forth, then valvular heart diseases, finally cardiomyopathies, then pericardial diseases. But what I want you to do in your second prof, start with the most important diseases first. And how do you know what are those most important diseases? Ask your seniors. They know the questions that have been asked in the prof exams and go to your clinical wards, see what patients are admitted. You'll see patients of heart failure admitted there. You'll see patients with MI admitted there. So read the pathophysiology of heart failure first. Read the pathophysiology of ischemic heart disease. Learn atherosclerosis by the heart. Why? Because this is the number one the reason why people die. People die of ischemic heart disease. So read that chapter by heart. Read valvular heart disease. They're so common. Now trust me, up koi bhi YouTube pe kisi bhi international conference me kisi bhi leading faculty ka lectures no and read the same topic from Robbins, you will see that each and every point has been discussed in Robbins. I remember one, uh, an international faculty visited my college. She talked about systemic lupus erythematosus. And incidentally, I just a night pehle SLE padha tha Robbins. Se. I was like, every bit is written in Robbins. She was a great clinician from a great institute, but everything is written in Robbins, which highlights the importance, the up-to-date and most detailed description of diseases in this textbook. Okay. Then similarly, you can have other chapters like kidney. You know the most important patho patho pathophysiologically, the most important disease are the glomerular diseases, things like nephritic and, and nephrotic syndrome. So you need to understand the pathophysiology of those disease processes. Sure, you can read tubular interstitial nephrites, but that's a second line. Pehle revision mein, pehle reading mein, read the most important things. Read about glomerular diseases. Then later on in your second revision, third revision, fourth time when you're reading this book, you can discuss congenital and developmental anomalies of the kidney. You can discuss cystic disease of the kidney, but that's for next time. First, 
you read the most important things read the things that are commonly asked in the exam read the things that are commonly encountered in your ward and which are emphasized by your faculty okay now uh, there are spread throughout this book there will be some high yield things for example every chapter has these key concepts read those things even if you're not reading that particular topic in detail but do know what the key concepts have been written in that table throughout this book you'll find these tables and these figures you know this is standard this is standard way of thinking about glomerular diseases for example here to ek bar ye table yaad kar liya na ek bar ye table dekh liya na fir aage chal ke you know for final prop mein harrison bhi khologe a similar thing will be there you don't have to read it there then okay so this book is not just pathophysiology this will clear your clinical part as well this will clear the clinical presentations and how you need to classify these disease processes and these pictures i was talking about these photographs i was talking about see uh, you will remember these pictures that you know just keep a photograph installed ready in your mind you this can help you even in your inict now what about this this box everywhere in this in this book the morphology part this is important this is important so whatever diseases you're choosing that i'm reading this thing read morphology because this is what is pathology this is what is pathology aur jab aapke second prop mein practicals mein aapko slides dikha dena pathology labs mein usi time pe robins khol ke wo disease ki morphology pad lo ye picture crescentic glomerular nephrites ki kabhi bhulogi nahi i still don't 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 forget it i can never forget it because i've read it repeatedly from this book that's the utility of this book this book is worth remembering and this book is easy to remember if you read it because it's so well written okay then some chapters may be less important see heart may be important kidneys may be important maybe lungs liver gall bladder pancreas fine but some things are less important lower urinary tract genital systems female genital tract bone joint soft tissue tumors you can read all that in in their respective uh, respective specialties you can read in orthopedics about about bone tumors and so forth you can read about eye and ophthalmology so those things may be less important but the the core chapters like the endocrine system the pancreas the heart the kidneys you need to read in detail now what about neat pg and nicd this book is not meant for neat pg and nicd preparation agar aapke paas ek saal neat pg ke liye na aur nicd ke liye you don't want to read robins but aap kya padhna chahoge usme you will just grossly look at remember these figures because agar nicd mein koi pathology ki image aati hai na usually robin se copy karke aati hai so you will remember these standard image just for the sake of getting those image based questions right otherwise aapko neat pg preparation inict preparation mein nahi use karni hai rather aap kya use karoge previous 5 years 7 years ke question papers koi review book uthaoge ya koi coaching note ka koi short formula uthaoge that's what you need for 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 pg exams for inict or for neat pg you don't want to read this book in detail for that i hope this video was helpful to you because this was a question and in, in so that so many of you had asked that how do we read robins how do we read in second row this is how you read robins okay and and what about other sources that i talk about like goljan that's an add on aap robins finish karo uske baad goljan pad lo uske baad pathoma or whatever you want to read that's afterwards uh, the first state that's afterwards first you complete your basic book okay So I hope this video was helpful to you. I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.